Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD, the medieval mod for Total War Attila. Today, I'm going to be doing a battle with the Holy Roman Empire, and we're going to be fending off an invasion from the Duchy of Austria. Now, I'm outnumbered 2 to 1, so you could always call this a survival scenario. However, I'd say this isn't on the same scale as my normal survival scenarios, but I have to say, if you watched my previous video, uh, with the Carthage versus Rome. Support for that video was absolutely insane. It really has reinvigorated me to get out more content for you guys and gals. So if you continue to show your support, that would be absolutely fantastic. It means the absolute world to me. So at the minute, my mortar is firing. I only have one unit of mortar to fire into the Austrian ranks, as they are a bit OP. So if you're happy to see the Medieval Kingdoms mod back, please do help me out leave a like on all that jazz it's very very much appreciated so here we can see the Austrian ranks coming forward with the haze of the summer sun almost setting it really is quite imposing but here we go that's the line of the Austrians and this is the line of the Holy Roman Empire so I have my heavy cavalry at the back. So let's just go over what units I do have under my command. We do have Imperial Knights. We have four units of these. I think I went for the high version of these. Then we also have the Emperor's Guard, the high period. So we're kind of at the high period of the medieval era. We also have two units of Pavisers. One unit of Mortars. I think that's four units of Sergeants. And then we also have four units of Pikemen. And then we have two units of provised crossbowmen. And I've got two units of handgunners as well to kind of implement... Get rid of some of their morale. My gosh, I can't even talk today. I need some caffeine. I haven't had any caffeine today. Oh, and I also have units of men-at-arms as well. There we go. On the Austrian side, they outnumber me in terms of cav, I believe. They do have Austrian knights, so they're looking very imposing over there. Then we also have units of provisors. They have a lot more of those than what I do. And they've got six units of those. Mercenary Swiss pikemen. So the Swiss have sided with the Austrians in this engagement. They have crossbow sergeants. Men at arms. Then at the back, some sergeants. So they have a host. They outnumber me in terms of infantry a lot. They have lots of urban militia as well to help bolster their ranks. Sergeants. Lots of urban militia. And then we have some more Austrian knights. And I believe this is the Duke of Austria on his horsey. On his horsey, was it? So they've already got 180 kills. So that is pretty... Holy heck. Oh my gosh, you can see the devastation that we've wrought. Is he just trying to... Gro oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. So he's trying to get back up, but I think he's kicked the bucket there. So look at that. That is really imposing when you think about it. And prepare for a screeny. The marching forth. Men slowly being butchered. My lions must hold. You must hold. Hold. If they don't, then, well, I've, I've lost the battle pretty much, haven't I? Okay, so here we go. Marching slowly forward, which kind of makes sense that they're not running. I wouldn't be running into those kind of defences either. But while they're only walking, we might as well do a bit of scouting with our cavalry. See what kind of stuff we can do. This is a live battle. I set up my men, so if I was to do it as a replay, it would have always, it would have crashed already. Uh, so, at least I don't, I don't think that they fixed that. If I'm wrong, my apologies. But they need to advance pretty quickly, because my mortar is going to keep on pounding their position. Ah, here we go. Splinting forward. And they're in the tree line now, so they've got some decent protection. Okay. So they're actually in a position where they could act, get around my flank. So I might just have to get my sergeants to try and hold the line a bit here. But it'd be nice if my crossbowmen were in range. 
Okay. So where am I? Ah. I'm going to send them down to support the cavalry engagement. And just hope the rest of my men can hold uh, long enough. But here we go. The Pavai's crossbowmen are firing. Ah, crap. Run! Okay, I can't commit the infantry to that engagement. Damn, they're just all on... They're, they're all over me. So they've got to charge on me there. But if we charge into their rear... It might almost be time for slow-mo here. Nope. Nope. What? Okay. Let's put this into slow motion. So we can kind of see... What we're going up against here. Cheeky screeny. I thought that was Pixelated Apollo's banner then. Jeez. He's in the Medieval Kingdoms mod. Okay, so... They're approaching the lines. My spearmen are still sprinting down there. So here they are. The lines are about to engage. Put your spears down! Ugh. Luckily, most of them will have a chance to. Okay, there we go. Okay, handgunners, you're just going to have to get back. Pikemen, go forward. Actually, you know what? Just, in, just engage. You're not going to have time to get your spears down. You might. But already, we're up against it here. <laughs> Sorry, I get really into the music and taking the screenshots. <laughs> so, what is happening with the cavalry engagement? Guys, charge down. I need to get you guys somehow over there to help support the cavalry engagement. We've broken off one unit there. If we can break that unit of Austrian knights. So the engagement here is going pretty well. But the majority of their troops haven't even engaged mine yet. Is that the unit of men at arms? Okay, so I think pikes might be a bit OP here. So this battle could actually go in my favour quite easily. Have any of the pikes start? Some of the pikes are, yep, yeah, are perishing. Actually, I'm going to get that mortar to stop firing. Okay, which unit of cavalry is getting bested? Oh my gosh, this is an absolute medlem. Okay. It looks like the urban militia there is going to fall. Our men at arms. Two, are they two-handed axemen and swordsmen? I think they are. Look at that. But where they're getting around the flank, it's a bit of a gap here. So if they seize that, then I'm in big doo-doo. Oh my god, he got his head absolutely crushed. That is freaking mental. Okay. So we have reserves. My sergeants are my reserve, which isn't much of a reserve, really. Um, so I've got Pavai's ears going in there. Let's send my men at arms charging down into the fray. But as you can see, the balance of power going into my favour a little bit here. But I know you guys really would prefer me to play against human opponents. 
uh, I'm still in a position where it's a bit difficult for me to get lots of uh, YouTubers kind of in the same place at the same time. But when I'm able to, I would of course do that because I know these kind of battles would be more fun if that would be, you know, a possibility. And I want it to be a possibility. So I will try and make it happen. Okay. So this unit of men at arms is actually getting butchered. Our flank here has been... Oh my gosh, it's absolute madhouse down here. Who's that? Is that... Sergeants, what are you doing? Kill the urban militia, you wankers. Oh, sorry, that probably mean my, my, my video is going to be demonetized now, isn't it? So I don't think my handgunners have really got off any shots. So pikemen... Me. Sergeants, I'm going to have to try and envelop that flank. Okay, so I actually thought this would be pretty easy, but it's actually proving to be a bit more tricky than I had first envisioned. But these Austrian knights are routing. They're routing. Good. Good, 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 good. That's what we need. That's what we need. Okay. Then we can just go into the rear. I might send them around the flanky-wanky. You've got to take good care of the flanky wanky, okay? Fire into the crossbow sergeants. Okay. So it's, they're almost completely broken. Very tired and taking casualties. Men at arms appear to be more than a match for the provisors here. Let's take another couple of screeny weenies. I think that's my men that are fleeing, isn't it? I'll try and make that my last screenshot. I think I've got I think I've got one suitable for Le Fanel. Okay, guys. It's your time to make a difference in this battle. Because one flank is struggling. Those heavy sergeants. Oh crap. This battle still could be anyone's at the minute. Okay, let's send you in pikes. Pikes, march down the hill. Ah! Okay. But we have the heavy cavalry. And so far, my emperor hasn't really done anything. He doesn't really need to. He is the emperor! Oh, yes. The stampeding cavalry. About to go into the rear. Oh, they're going to absolutely butcher these crossbowmen. Yes, destroy. Okay. So we have a spare unit of sergeants. Let's send them into the fray. Mon General, you can just help inspire the troops. Okay, so we're engaging the Duke now. And it looks like a lot of their troops are starting to falter. So what are they down to? They still outnumber us, so they could still get it. But I think it's unlikely at this point. I want them to be absolutely butchered. So, the cavalry... I've actually got units of cavalry that survived the entire battle. I can't actually believe that. I'm a terrible cavalry commander. But today, I use them well going into the flanky-wanky. So, charging in to the urban militia there. Wow, they just went down very quickly. But I think this could be it. Looks like it could be turning into a mass rout. So the pikemen, although they, they held up pretty well, but, like, oh, wow. So, looks like the unit of Imperial Knights is going to kill the Duchy, the, sorry, the Duke of Austria. Enemy 
general is dead. There we go. So it looks like the invasion of the Holy Roman Empire via the Duchy of Austria has failed. And it looks like the path is now clear for the Holy Roman Empire to invade and destroy the Duchy of Austria. And I think the Emperor will want his vengeance. How dare the upstart of the Duchy of Austria oppose the might of the Holy Roman Empire. So let's finish off the remaining units. But I think they probably have kicked the bucket now. We have men in this flank all free now. And that's a mass rout. So there we have it. Victory. A close victory. But let's take a little look at the units. See how they did. So the pikes, that one really held the line there. So my men at arms did very well as well. Although they say they're um, pole arms, they actually have like swords and axes. So I'm not really sure if that's a mistake. But yeah. Cavalry did extremely well. And the mortar. Oh my gosh. Those things are just like OP. And then we have the Duchy of Austria. They've done... Some of their units did pretty well. I'm surprised the urban militia's got that many kills. Austrian knights did very well there. But I think trying to get up that hill is a challenge for any opposing force. So there we have it. Holy Roman Empire versus the Duchy of Austria. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like and all that jazz. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very... Good day!